Hey boys and girls, this is Jason at JP3. Another video for you guys. It's uh, We're gonna go over evaporators today. These are all different versions of RX-7 FD AC evaporators. We are knee deep in the uh, garage with uh, evaporators and we're doing our R&D and uh, we've gotten a lot of questions uh, since we're selling the line kits and we're recommending to change out the evaporators. We've gotten a lot of questions on uh, if we know the part numbers or whatnot. So I think what we're gonna be doing since we've gone through this much uh, trouble of uh, obtaining these different uh, evaporators and figuring out the expansion valves and uh, figuring out what, what part numbers and uh, what goes where, we're gonna start offering kits. Um, so in the next uh, week or so, we're gonna be putting kits together and you'll see it hit the uh, website with a complete um, expansion valve um, replacement kit. So it's going to include a uh, expansion valve, O-rings. Uh, we're going to give some seals to seal up the box. Um, and then if it's like a mana type, we're going to include like the cork insulation as, as well. So we're going to go right into it and I'm going to show you the differences. Um, so you guys can see how, uh, yeah, start figuring out what kind of, uh, expansion valves you're going to need. All right. So first we're going to go in the right hand drive. So this is a, um, early 92 and earlier, uh, right hand drive uh, um, evaporator and it comes with surprisingly it is a denso um, expansion valve but it comes with i'm going to call this like a mana style um, and so it's going to have the uh, the sensing capillary sensing bulb over here and then um, the expansion valve here um, so it's, this one's just nice and simple it just has one um, line off of the expansion valve um, but if you go to the left hand drive mana style r12 um, expansion valve it's very similar except this one has an extra line on it it has an equalization tube a equalization um, oil tube so it's a little different um, uh, compared to the right hand drive style um, so we've been able to source the replacements we have this one with the equalization tube and then the, the capillary or the, the sensing uh, tube uh, uh, bulb over here. And then I was able to source the simple one for the uh, right hand drive. So you're going to see it there. All right. And then if we go into the Denso style, I'm going to call the Denso style uh, expansion valves. We have a right hand drive 93 plus. This is the one with that smooth wall because it came with the uh, R134 style fittings. Um, smooth wall um, uh, fittings, and so this it was a, would have came with the R134 um, refrigerant, and it looks almost identical to the left-hand drive Denso style R12 system. However, when we go looking at the um, expansion valves. All right, and we look here, a little nuance. So I'll show you guys. If you can see that little drilled hole there, and if you look at the walls, you see these are smooth walls as well. No step in them. To correspond with that, on the expansion valve receiver, you'll see that little nub right in the middle, right there. If we go on to the other side, on the right-hand drive, or left-hand drive side, you don't see that nub. And when you look on the inside, you see there's a little step, not a smooth wall. So you see that. So I have the brand new replacements here and I'll show you, you can see side by side. Right hand drive, R134 style, has that little nub there. Left hand drive, R12 style, not. You see the smooth wall, you see the stepped wall. So very small differences, but when you're looking at part numbers and you're looking at uh, replacements online, I guarantee you're going to end up ordering the wrong one um, and then having to return and pay for return shipping and, you know, paying for extra costs. So the other thing I noticed that these bolts are always rusty when they come out. So with these kits that we're going to come out with, you're going to get an expansion valve. You're going to get um, O-rings um, either in the Denso style or with the, uh, I'm going to call Mana style. They're going to, we're going to make sure that they came, come with O-rings. Um, and if you have that mana style, you're going to have to wrap the, uh, 
the sensing tube or capillary tube and, and lines in insulation. So we will be including, I have a roll of that cork tape. We're gonna include some cork tape for you. Um, and then the other thing is that most of these boxes that when you're gonna be taking them out, they're gonna have that foam uh, insulation pretty much disintegrated or gone. So we will be including, um, I'm getting some foam rolls. We'll be including some foam as well. So it's gonna be a complete kit Everything you need to replace the expansion valve um, in the evaporator and reinstall the evaporator box. This way it saves you guys the trouble of trying to source O-rings or expansion valves and foam rolls and everything else. Because what I found is that they only sell these huge rolls of cork tape when you're only going to need about a foot or two or even less to uh, to replace. So we'll... Uh, We'll save you guys some money that way and save you basically the headache of trying to source everything you need to change these expansion valves. All right. The only other version that I have not confirmed, and I, um, I can I probably assume it's going to be one of these version, um, is a 95 uh, left-hand drive R134 systems. I can only assume that it's one of these Mana style or one of these Denso styles. But if you guys, one of you guys have a, a 95 R134 uh, refrigerant system, uh, and you guys have the uh, evaporator out, please reach out to us and uh, help us confirm it's one of these styles. All right, if you guys have any questions, uh, hit us up. And if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. It gives me confidence and gives me motivation to make more of these for you guys. All right, see you on the next one.